Before I start today's video, I am giving away this beautiful Titanium White Sub-Zero. Once the channel reaches 6,000 subscribers, all you gotta do to enter is subscribe to my channel and comment down below. Good luck. everyone, welcome back to another episode of Crack, the show where I react to the Rocket League subreddit. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. And uh, yeah, let's get into these funny memes. Let's start off this Sunday right, baby. Let's go. Fast and Furious cars coming to Rocket League. Ooh, I can't wait to see the comments on this. <laughs> Playing with the plane is going to be so broken. Ooh, I mean, that would be kind of cool though. If like the plane in the trailer was released, you know? It'd be kind of sick. Just have unlimited boost and you could just... Woo! around the field. Uh, Sionix gets all my monies for a sick ass plane. Aftershock meets your maker. Yeah, the Aftershock looks like a plane, but it can't really fly, can it? I mean, it can fly, I guess, but it can't fly indefinitely, but neither can a normal plane. So does that make all cars in Rocket League planes? After all these years, I'm finally going to be able to buy the Skyline and then knowing me, probably shelve it after three days and switch back to Octane. Dude, that's, oh, that's, I feel attacked. <laughs> that's me with every DLC. I'm like, oh my gosh, there's a NASCAR update. What? Buys it, uses it for two days. Okay, back to Octane. <laughs> F1? This is crazy. It's so flat and awesome and it looks sick. Okay, back to Octane in two days. <laughs> Lamborghini, whoa! Back to Octane in two days. <laughs> don't put it away. I promise you it is a contender for best car in the game. After playing with the Fennec, I don't understand why people play Octane. But after playing with Skyline, I don't understand why people play with Fennec. Okay, so the level of uh, cars, it's Octane here, Fennec here, Skyline here. Maybe? Hmm, we'll see. I'll have to check it out. Question, so I found out my beloved Nissan Skyline is returning soon, and I was wondering if us OG members will get a special title or tag. <sighs> oh, okay, so I have an answer to your question. Are you ready? Here we go. No, you will not get anything special for being an OG owner of the Skyline. Cause guess what? You're not special. You just started playing the game a little bit sooner. Oh. But guess what? You know what makes you special? You only paid $2 for your car. Meanwhile, all the new people that are getting the game recently and want to use the Skyline, they have to pay $10. There, you happy? You got the special discount price of getting the, the, the car three years sooner than everyone else. Happy? Okay, rant over. <laughs> We've all encountered that one team. Scores a simple goal. Thanks, wow, great pass, nice shot, wow, thanks. Oh, yes, when they're just like, hey, bud, nice shot. Wow, thank you so much, great pass, sir. Oh, wow, thank you so much. That was just amazing. And it was like this simple little pass, simple shot. And they're just like, huh, oh, look at us go. We're just doing so good. It's like, guys, just shut up. Like, I've seen that six times already this game. Just stop. Every single time when you get 20 more points than your teammate. My back. Uh. <laughs> I mean, yes, but you're just flexing about how good you are. Yeah, you're so strong and... You can just carry anyone. You got a strong back, you know? And don't let anyone tell you otherwise, okay? Don't let anyone ruin your day. It's your day. Ruin it yourself by playing Rocket League. <gasps> wow, what a fantastic idea. Yeah, no. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, today's a really good day and I'm feeling really good about myself. It's too happy, uh, too positive. You know what I should do? I should play some Rocket League, man. Rocket League fixes all happiness it really does it just your days here after playing rocket league you know that's at least for me i don't know about you guys thanks dad dad why is my sister's name rose because your mother loves roses thanks dad no problem corner boost 
corner boost? Really? You love corner boost? I like all boosts. Small boosts, big boosts, medium boosts. I don't care about if it's in the corner. Come on. Happens every time we queue. Matchmaking in Rocket League when I play with my higher rated friend, our team, 50 and 0, 0 and 1. <laughs> Their team, 50 and 0, 50 and 0. I mean, yeah, that's kind of how matchmaking works. You know, they take the highest MMR and they match you with two other people of that MMR because if they did the average of, oh, say you have a friend that's SSL and you're Diamond, if they did the average, uh, the SSL would just be able to crush whatever champs that you get put up against, you know? So they have to put you with the higher ones to prevent Smurfs from carrying super low-ranked players all the way up super fast, you know? I mean, there's still Smurfs in the game, they just make new accounts now because the game's free, and they don't really care about, like, Smurfing at all. <clears throat> Rocket League giving me daily challenge rewards, <laughs> me just grinding. That's what I hate about the- I know I've said this a million times, I'm sorry, if you've been watching my channel for a long time. But I, I complain about this so much, like, the challenges in Rocket League are too easy. You just get them without even looking at them. I could put a blindfold on- okay, well, maybe not a blindfold, because then I wouldn't be able to play Rocket League. But I could just not look at the challenges at all, <laughs> and just play Rocket League how I normally would, and I would get almost every single challenge, maybe except, like, the quick chat ones, because I never use quick chat. But besides that, they're just so easy. Like, make- here's a- here's an idea. Psyonix, if you're watching, Make the challenges challenging. Oh my gosh. Coral, stop it with these huge game breaking ideas. Just chill out and like relax. They're not gonna make ch <laughs> challenges challenging. <laughs> oh, I'm talking crazy. Oh, I need to go to the next meme. Rocket League is a super advanced 3D version of Pong. He's out of line, but he's right. I... I mean... Not really, though, because Pong... That's like... Just back and forth, and the ball moves wherever. But the uh, paddles, or whatever you call them, can only move in one direction. So even if you made a 3D version of Pong, it would still only be able to move in those two directions, you know? Cars can drive up, down, left, right, side... Like, they can turn... Like this. You don't see that in Pong, do you? No. So, uh, it's 2 out of 10 for that meme. When your teammate Wada saves you after bumping you away from the goal. Oh, yes. The classic Wada save. Yes. Especially when they just missed the save and then they're expecting you to save it. So they jump up, whiff. They're like, oh, okay. My teammate's got it, right? Teammate misses. They're like, whoa, Wada save, Wada save, Wada save, Wada save. Wada save. It's like, but did you not just forget? What just happened a little bit before that? You know, like, take take it back like five seconds there. Oh, you missed too, buddy. Not just me. God. This literally happened 10 seconds ago and I still can't believe it. Oh. Okay, I know this is the spot to go to see people get white octanes, but I'm so sick of seeing people get white octanes because I spend so much money getting these very rares to do these very rare trade-ups to get a white octane i can't even get a painted one i can't even get a burnt sienna octane i haven't gotten an octane since nam okay it's been so long and there's all these people on reddit oh well, i just traded up like 15 very rares you know that i had lying around you know just scavenged them up and then look at that oh white octane guys wow it's crazy it's like bro i do this for a living how? Give me your luck, dude. Come on. Rocket League ranks according to plats. Bronze 3 doesn't exist. Silver 1, my teammates. Gold 3, also my teammates. Okay. Plat 3, John Sam. <laughs> okay. Okay, plats. <laughs> Diamond 3, my opponents. Okay. Champ, golds, but better. Okay. <laughs> GC pros? Ooh, that is a bad description. Okay, SSL, me if I could flip. D Platts, listen. Do you actually think like this? Because if you actually think like this, we have to have a serious talk here. Your teammates, they're not gold three. They're not silver. They're plat. Just like you. And guess what? They suck. Just like you. 
and GCs. Here's GCs. Pros are like my ceiling. You can't see my ceiling. And uh, silver, uh, not silver, plat. The floor, okay? The floor. You suck. Okay, I'm sorry. I, I, I love you. I love you, Platt, okay? I really do. But just chill out with the uh, toxicity and the blaming your teammates on everything because guess what? It's not always all your teammates' fault, okay? Sometimes you just got to get good. You just got to be able to carry your teammate. Be the better one, okay? Adapt. Adjust to your teammates' suckiness, okay? Decided to check my garage after seeing all the titanium white posts. Are you telling me I got lucky at some point? Okay, shut up. Shut up. You are not just some casual player that just, oh, I just randomly opened my drops and then I just happened to get a white octane someday and then I just didn't notice it and then I go on Reddit and then I see all these people freaking out over their white octanes and then I, oh, I guess I'll go into my inventory and check my inventory to see if I have one of those and oh, would you look at that? I have a white octane that I randomly opened up one day without even realizing. Wow, that's crazy. Shut up. That is not true. You know it. You know you bought that with your mom's credit card. Shut up. How do I have two of the same boost, but they're different rarities? Oh my, ugh. How long does it have to be after free to play until people stop asking about this? Really? Like there's so many people that have been playing this game for like three years and still to this day, they're just like, wait, uh, uh, I have a gray one and then I just opened this drop and I got a second one, even though I already have this. They literally explained it when the update came out and a simple Google search will also explain it. If you haven't had it explained to you yet, uh, there's legacy items that no longer are included when you join the game and they don't have it on their accounts when you start a fresh account now. So you can only get them through drops, but it's only for the new people. If you've been here for years, you still have all those OG items, but the new people do not. So they come in drops. So if you're an OG player, you'll get double. Yeah, that's how it works. This has been Coral's TED Talk. But anyways, <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And uh, yeah, I will see you in the next one. Peace.